This is the last video in this QuickBooks tutorial series. Hats off for you for getting this far. If you've joined the series here right at the end, then go back and start from the beginning. If you want to see more QuickBooks videos, then just head over to the website freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Click on free stuff here. Go down, find the QuickBooks page, learn QuickBooks. Click on here. There's all sorts of courses and free videos on this page that you can scroll through. There's no charge. They're all for free. They're all similar to the video you're currently watching now. In this final video, we're going to go through the reports very briefly on QuickBooks Online. So we access the reports to the left here. The most common reports that most of you will be using is the profit and loss report and the balance sheet. You can scroll through and find those reports under any of these tabs here. You have to scroll through and find them. Generally, the profit and loss is under the business overview and so is the balance sheet. There are other sort of profit and loss reports that you can find in all these different tabs. The easiest thing to do though is just use this search box here by typing in profit and loss or balance sheet or, or whatever the report is. If you're looking for some sort of sales report, you can type in sales and it will generate in this drop down list the reports that are available for whatever you've typed in at the top here. If you find reports that you like, then you can actually star them. So if I like this particular profit and loss, I can star that. I can make it a favorite. And if I like this balance sheet, perhaps there's some other reports I like too, perhaps an age debtors report and an age creditors report. There might be some others that you like, sales reports. If you star them, if you make them your favorites, then then they'll appear at the top here under favorites, right at the top of reports. So you can easily access them again in future. I do offer one-to-one -one QuickBooks training. In that training, I go through all these things in a lot more detail. I can obviously answer your questions while I train. This course has just been a basic overview, a how-to of QuickBooks Online, how to use the software, the very basics. If you're interested in learning QuickBooks Online in more detail, if you want one-to-one -one training, then just click on services on my website and there's a link for software training and there'll be a link under that page on that page for QuickBooks Online training. Go ahead, sign up and I can speak to you and train you one-to-one. -one. If this series has been helpful, please like, please subscribe, check out my social media profiles. Thank you so much speak to you in another series.